<laughs> okay, today is gonna be a really fun review because we're reviewing air-cooled seats. This is something that I've wanted forever inside of my Tesla. I've had it in my last three vehicles, most recently my MDX. But the question is, does this actually work? If I put these in my car, will I actually think I have cooled seats or is it kind of a gimmicky thing? And we're gonna find out. But first, let's talk a little bit about this product and answer some pretty important questions. So the company that sent this out to me is a company called Tyler. You might've seen them already on the channel when we reviewed that fridge that fits into the cubby on the Model Y. You guys loved it. And the price on these is $265.99 per seat or $509.99 for both the front and the passenger seat, so you save a little bit there. And I'll just mention right now, Tyler had sent these out to me, and part of that deal was that you guys would get a 30% discount for the next seven days following the release of this video if you pick this up, so you can even knock that off that price as well. These come in black or white and are made specifically for the Model 3 and the Model Y, which you will see very soon in the install process. So how do these seats actually cool you off? These obviously aren't actual cooled seats. Instead, what they've done is they put 10 different fans inside of the seat cushion and they just simply push air. The place in the seats where the fans are have a mesh covering around them and those are surrounded by the rest of the seat cushion that's made out of the Nappa leather, which is the same as the OEM seats that come in the Tesla. Can you turn these on remotely? No, you cannot and you wouldn't really need to. These only push air again, so they don't need time to kind of get cool. However, they do come with a really great ability to turn on automatically as soon as you sit down on them as well as turn off when you get up off the seats, very sensitive and it works very well. So how is it powered? It is powered by the 12 volt plug inside of your center console, which turns off when your car goes to sleep. So there's no worry about you leaving your car, your car locking, and then all of a sudden you come back and your battery is dead. There are ways to keep power to that 12 volt, one being camp mode. However, if you got that running, you probably know it. So the next question I had was, how does this actually work with airbags? And their response to this was, they didn't make the seat cover wrap all the way around the seat. Instead, they made it just kind of wrap halfway around the seat. So if the airbag were to go off, the seat cover would simply go right with it. In terms of how loud these fans are, they say it's about 40 decibels, which is about as loud as a loud whisper. Now let's talk about the installation. This literally takes two minutes. You wanna make sure you place the side with the control buttons next to the center console. This way you don't get confused which one is the driver's seat and which one is the passenger seat. Next, you wanna start by putting it over the headrest. Well, no one's ever going to say these aren't tight. They're definitely a very specific fit. Next, you wanna go around and tuck it under the headrest to try and hide as much of that black rim as possible. From there, you tuck the two plastic holding tabs between the two cushions. Next, grab the two elastic hooks from the front of the seat and pull them underneath the seat and hook it to something in there. Aim for something metal here. There's a lot of cords in there that you probably don't wanna hook it onto. For this step, it really helps to raise the seat as much as possible to give your hand as much room as you can. Then when you're done, just simply plug it into the 12 volt and you're ready to go. And I was very glad to see that after I had both seats plugged in, I could still use my center console organizer back there, which I was kind of worried about. All right, let's give this a shot here. <laughs> okay, so first impression, you, you're you definitely not sitting in a Tesla seat. There's no way around it. They removed the soft Nappa leather on the bottom and replaced them with mesh and fans. That's not to say it's extremely uncomfortable, but you can certainly tell there are fans there. They're not directly under your butt. They're not under your butt bone. They're like on your tailbone. You can't feel them really in your lower part of your back. It's just a little bit on the tailbone. It's certainly not that cloud lush feeling you get when you sit inside those incredible Tesla seats that we're all used to. But remember, you're buying these to solve a problem. So is it worth it? Let's find out. So here I'm gonna press on. Oh, wow. Well, there's zero question if you can feel it or not. I feel it going all the way up my back. I feel it, I feel it on my butt. You feel it. So I know this isn't the greatest way to do a decibels check. We could always pull up a decibel thing on the phone, but it's pretty much about what they said it was. I can just tell. So here's what it sounds like on level one. Kind of put it down here. Here's level two. And here's level three. So right now it's on level three. I can hear it while I'm talking a little bit, but again, I didn't go and buy a seat that's supposed to be the most comfortable, the most quiet to seat. This is to solve a problem. There's fans in there, of course, you're gonna hear the fans. And one thing I found is that this auto setting is actually pretty sensitive. So if I turn it on by pressing the smaller button here and I push on it, you can hear that just kick it right on. 
take your hand off and it goes off. The sensor is definitely in the seat cushion because back here it doesn't turn on so you have to actually be sitting in it. All right, driving in the car, it's a balmy 75 degrees. Let's turn on the air. I mean, you hear it, but it doesn't matter because you feel it. If you didn't feel it and you heard it, that, that wouldn't work, but you do feel it and you feel it a lot. Now, when you turn it on right away, it goes to level three, which is kind of where you're gonna want it. If I turn it down, I mean, you feel it, but it's just it's just not as instant and as powerful, obviously, as level three. But if you wanted just a slow cool off, kind of get the sweat off you, that kind of thing, I think that those other levels are gonna be just fine. Now, if you're like me, you're probably asking the question, what's the point of all this? Why even have this when every single Tesla can be cooled off as much time as you want before you get into the car? You just get on the app and cool the car right down to the temperature you want. And that's a very valid point. And it works really, really well. This though is just, it's different. It's not just cooling off your seat. It's a consistent air blow through your clothing. But if you're somebody who gets a very sweaty back, this is not going to do much for you as all the fans are down below and on your thighs. But of course, bringing your entire body temperature down is gonna help with all of that. And one thing I wanna point out is that it doesn't take driving very long in these seats before you stop feeling the fans in the back. You kinda of sort of shift forward just about a half an inch and you're no longer just sitting right on those fans and so you don't really notice them. And I was also concerned if you are a heavier person and you put too much weight on the fans, will they just shut off? or stop being effective. And the reality is that no, because you're never really sitting on them. You really can't sit on them. And even if I put a ton of pressure down on them, the fans don't really change their sound. They still keep going. They got a pretty strong plastic coating around them. Now I read all the reviews online and they are all quite positive. I didn't really see any negative reviews. People did mention the sound. However, they said that they cooled you off enough to kind of counter that. And I would have to agree for the most part. And when you couple it with the air conditioning inside of the car, it does make for a very nice, air effect pretty much all around your body. Now, don't get me wrong, these are comfortable, but the real question is gonna be, am I gonna keep these in here or am I gonna switch them back? I guess we'll have to find out. So what are my final thoughts on this? Well, you definitely feel it. If you're wanting something to blow air down on your legs, on your lower back area, this does that. It checks that box easily. If you want something that actually looks good, well, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the design's good. It's not some weird, funky looking thing. They use original Napa leather that feels just like the original. If you're expecting it though to be as comfortable as the original Tesla seats, I think that's an unrealistic expectation. These don't feel that way. So as always with any review that I do, I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments about this one. Yay or nay. And of course, if you pick one of these up, let me know down below in the comments. So that's gonna wrap up this review. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe and smash that like button for me and I'll see you on the next one.